This is a News 9 Winter Weather Report. Hi, right, Oklahoma. Well, it's a big mess out there. Lots of ice on many, many of our streets and highways and secondary streets and driveways. This glaze of ice, freezing rain, continues to fall here in Oklahoma City. Temperatures in the upper 20s. If you don't have to get out for tonight, don't. Stay home. Firefighters, police are only working now. Uh, injury accidents, okay? That's the only thing they're going to anymore because there have been so many accidents here just in the last hour and a half, all right? And it's not a busy travel evening. It's Sunday evening. Traffic's quite a bit lower, quite a bit less. But uh, roads are just going to continue to stay where they are or get a little bit worse as we get into the overnight hours. That will include tomorrow morning. All right, let's get to it here. Uh, let's go to Val and Amy Castor. And uh, Val, you're going slow and uh, for a good reason, my friend. Lots of ice. Roadways are just not good. They're ice covered, at least in many, many areas. Give us an update on what you've seen here in the last half hour or so. Okay, we've been driving back and forth down I-40 throughout the whole length of the city here. We're on the east side right now. We've seen lots of wrecks and lots of slide-offs involving all types of different vehicles. Bridges are slick and hazardous, and in many places, the main roads are very slick also. We're on I-40 just east of Midwest City, and, and we're going to go east a little ways here and check it out. Back to you. Okay. So, oh, again, if you got to get out and about, listen, don't go. Or if you got to go, you got to go real, real slow. You go fast, you're going to have problems, okay? All right, let's go to Brandon Pennell. He's in the South Metro, different parts of Oklahoma City. And uh, we'll get an update from Brandon. There is, uh, looks like, was a rollover, at least somebody on their side. And it looked like we had somebody on the scene there a minute ago. Let's get an update. Yeah, I do see somebody, it looks like. Brandon, what do you think? Give us an update. What's your exact location, and what's the situation of that car right there? Okay, David, so this is going to be on I-35 southbound, just south of the Indian Hills exit, where we've been talking about for probably the last hour how it just almost flash froze um, on the main surface road on I-35, not including the bridges and overpasses, and people were doing 40, 50, 60 miles an hour, and we saw multiple spinouts and this one's in the cleanup stage, but it, it had completely rolled probably at least twice and was up against the fence um, just before um, the tow truck got on, on scene. Uh, um, OHP has cleared it, and they've left, so it's in the wrap-up stages, but it's still slick out here. Back to you. Okay, well, that's going to be uh, hauled out of there, and hopefully those folks that were in that were okay. We do not know, but uh, lots of accidents here. And uh, again, uh, please be careful if you have to work overnight or something you absolutely have to do. Okay, but just take it slow, go easy, and uh, you know, just be careful. The treats, uh, the streets are being treated, so some of the roads are a little bit better because of the treatment on the roads because we're just below freezing. So some of the salt, <clears throat> some of the chemicals are actually helping some, but many roads are not treated and they are bad. All right, Link Street looks like this: 29 in Oklahoma City. There you go. So everybody, at least for most of us, except for far western Oklahoma, below freezing. That's why we have so many accidents going on. And this is just a big shield of all rain. It's all liquid. It's not sleet. It's not snow. It's all rain. And once it falls and hits down here where we are living and walking around, we're below freezing. And there you get that ice that quickly forms, especially on the elevated surfaces, the bridges and the overpasses, those are a nightmare. But even some of the main roads are not good. Your sidewalks, okay, your driveways, not good. All right, so there's the main big shield of ice or freezing rain running up and down and east of I-35. We will get a break in here, and it's going to be more spotty, but we're still going to have some freezing drizzle overnight tonight. But, folks, this is solid Light freezing rain all across the city. A little closer shot. It's beginning to kind of end in El Reno and Yukon, but uh, for the rest of us, the light freezing rain continues down south. All light freezing rain. Paul's Valley and Ada do not travel here. Temperatures in the upper 20s and more freezing drizzle and light freezing rain developing in the southwest. And as we jump into northern Oklahoma, that's all light freezing there. Uh, freezing rain there. Hey, a complete update on what's going to happen overnight tonight into tomorrow morning and uh, yeah, we'll check in with our trackers as well.